What's up guys, Seattle Gamer here, and last night, well, I guess this morning, at about 2.30, we had a little critter pay us a visit, and was making all sorts of a ruckus up in our attic. I'm not sure if he's still there or not, so we have the task to go and find out, and so I've got my ladder up, see? And I've got my tactical assault semi-automatic flashlight, and we are going to see what's up. So here we go, wish me luck. If I die, tell my wife I love her, all right? Somebody will, gamer dad will, I'm sure. All right, open sesame, here we go. And let's get on up here. This is my attic, it's very dark. If you were assuming it would be otherwise, then you were insane. All right, so I think I found the problem. Yep, there's a gigantic hole there where there should be a grill. All right, I'm gonna be very careful here to step on the rafters. Now let's go explore, see if we see anything. So far, I don't see anybody. Some vents there, those look okay. Let's move on over. So, he was up here last night and was just banging the crap out of this ductwork here. He was going to town, he was rustling his jimmies all over it. Uh, actually, it looks a little bit dented there. Um, but, I'm not seeing any signs of any critters. I mean, it's possible they could be all the way back down there. Um, we haven't heard him since last night. So, it's a good sign. It's really hot up here. It's hot and itchy. It's what you would expect from a, an attic-like scenario. Let's take a look at the damage here. Gotta make sure to step on the rafter areas or else you'll go through the, through the ceiling. Uh, yeah. Looks like he broke through some netting, and it looks like he broke through this uh, this vent here as well. I brought my handy dandy measuring tape. I'll be prepared for this kind of stuff. Looks like one foot by one foot. That should be a standard size. All right, well, I don't see any little critters up here, uh, which is fortunate and slightly unfortunate because I was kind of hoping you know, there'd be at least some sign of them up here, but I guess we don't have to try and get them out of our house, which is a good thing. So it's gonna be very easy. Careful, going down this ladder here. Here we go. All right, one foot by one foot, we're gonna have to replace that. There we go. The first person shooter view here, right? Pew, 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 pew. All right, we're back to reality. Oop, there goes gravity. All right, well, I guess since I'm the only one home now, we could take a quick look at our house. It's been about a year. We've been here, yeah, just over a year, like a year and a half, maybe, somewhere in between there. So let's take a quick little, little toury tour. This is our, our great room here, right? We got our, we'll do it this way. We got our TV, I got my rock band stuff set up here. Some, some other consoles and all sorts of shenanigans. So, I'll, please uh, excuse the mess here. This doesn't look very, if you could focus, that would be great camera. All right, we got our, our table here. I really like this table, it's really cool. Um, if there's two of us, I'd show you how it opens, it's really cool. We got our backyard back here full of kids' toys, yep. And uh, you can't really see it, but we have a raspberry garden over there as well. A shed. Head in here to the kitchen, which as you can see, we have painted red. I think it looks really, really nice. So, oh, we didn't, we haven't, we're like missing half the floor up here. All right, let's start here. Bedroom number one. So this is our master bedroom. Got this really, really nice bed for free. It's like cherry wood, like hand carved 
I don't know, someone, uh, someone gave it to us for free. It's probably a really nice uh, set, probably a few thousand dollars, I'd guess. So we got our bathroom here. It's a bathroom, what do you expect? All right, now here's the kids' room. They both share the same room. I'll stick my camera in here, you can take a look around. Typical kids' room, fairly messy. You know, bedroom two. All right, here's bedroom three. This is my wife's room, as you can see all of our books. We have more downstairs as well. We like to read. Um, so I'd love to fill this with bookshelves and stuff. Um, and then we, we use it for storage as well. This is a closet. We got our pantry and our refrigerator. And let's turn on some lights here. It's gonna be dark downstairs. That helped very slightly. This is a very blurry camera. I wish it would autofocus a little bit better. Let's turn on some lighting. Here we go. All right, we're in business. Here's our rec room here. See, here's all more books. The Harry Potter box set there as well. I gave my wife for Christmas last year. Um, and then we got some, some games. This is really, is there a way to focus? No, it's on auto. I have no way of focusing this. I'm sorry, guys. Kids toys and stuff, laundry room, and we have a second kitchen for some reason, although it's very dark and scary, and the cabinetry, oh, that's not the right light, whatever, doesn't matter. Cabinetry doesn't work very well. So, yeah, so here's all this. Here is bedroom, numero quattro. Our doors stick a little bit down here because these are like closet doors. They're not very good at all and they're not cut to the right shape. Uh, we're just using this as storage for right now, but here's our fourth bedroom. All right, here is bathroom number two. This is a scary bathroom. This We call this one like the Auschwitz bathroom or something because it's got, it, I don't know, it's really creepy in here. So plus what is this? Oh, it's the light. Yep. It used to have this really huge shower head, uh, which we got rid of because it was creepy. Um, yep, so, and then here is bedroom number five. This is my recording studio. Here, let me close the door real quick. So here I've got my drum set set up here in the back. Not a lot of room. I also got my pads and all of my stuff from my computer here in the corner, my Ibanez. It's really, really, uh, kind of busy in here right now because my parents came over with all my stuff from their their uh their basement and got rid of it so here's my keyboard and stuff um i have some overworld collectors items there from when you pre-ordered over uh, overlord 2 uh what else i have i have the the tank from gears of war 2 this guy here, I've never opened him. Um, all sorts of swords and, and stuff. Uh, oh, this was probably my first and only cosplay ever. Let me grab it. This is a helmet for a um, Rosie the Riveter um, Bioshock 2 or Bioshock 1, I don't remember. So, and then I have the, the tank and the, the chest piece and everything here as well. So some paintball stuff. Uh, yeah, lots lots of stuff here. And then I've updated my setup slightly. I'll take a look here. Mackie Pro FX 12, definitely overkill. Um, I went in to buy the Pro FX 8, and they were out, but they gave me the 12 for the same size, uh, same price as the 8. So I have some lighting that I set up here. So here, I'll turn one of them off really quick so I can show you what it is. So, this is one of those, it was $8. It's just a parabolic light, it's a work light that you can get at um, Home Depot. And they're like eight bucks, goes up to 150 watts. I put a 100 watt bulb in there and as you can see, it's very, very bright, um, which is gonna help me a lot. And then I put some, some wax paper over, some parchment paper actually. Oh, hello. Uh, light down, light down. All right, I'll just turn that off and leave it there for now. Right, and then I got my, my computer and everything. So, um, but yeah, that is pretty much it. So that's our house. It's been a while. We've updated a lot. As you can see, there's green walls down here. It's kind of like a, a light bluish green. So we painted that. Um, here, let's turn off some of these lights. Save some energy. Now that I actually have to pay for it. Kids, energy is expensive. Turn off your dang lights, all right? 
So let's head back up here. Yeah. So, you know, we've got three bedrooms and five bathrooms, technically. Uh, you didn't see the, the uh, bathroom in our master bedroom because, well, I didn't really feel like going into our master bedroom. Um, but yeah, so this is our house. I really like it. Um, it really is a lot better than the 800 square foot condo we had before that was two bedrooms and one bathroom. Not enough for four people. Not enough. Um, so yeah, that's it. I need to close up our attic here. Head to Home Depot, get some parts. I'm going to fix that. But anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next episode.